Sir Miles Axelrod is a former oil baron. Before the events of Cars 2, news networks were bombarded with headlines about Axelrod's adventures and business endeavors. According to an article by A. Flat, in one of the most audacious moments of petroleum exploration, Miles Axelrod set out from the coast of the Red Sea across the Sudan and equatorial Africa and into the unknown. He was once known as the first car to ever cross the Abyssinia Desert. Rusty Manifold recorded Axelrod's departure by writing, with his trademark rackish grin and wave to the crowd, Axelrod bid a fond farewell to his throng of admirers as he motored towards the setting sun and yet another entry into the annals of history. However, Axelrod's mission resulted in global consternation after he was reported missing. Newspapers such as the Rear View Mirror printed a headline stating, Billionaire missing while on adventure, industrialist not heard from in months. Torque Wrench reported on the event, saying, Stock prices in Axelrod Industries plummeted as news of Chairman Axelrod's disappearance made the news. Consumer confidence continues to wane, and cars worldwide worry the future of the planet's largest petroleum supplies may be in jeopardy. After over a month of waiting, the news reported on the story that grips the world. Oil billionaire Miles Axelrod, in an attempt to become the first car to circumnavigate the globe without GPS, ironically ran out of gas and found himself trapped in the wild. Feared dead, he emerged 36 days later running on a fuel he distilled himself from the natural elements. Since then, he has sold his oil fortune and converted from a gas guzzler into an electric car, and has devoted his life to finding a renewable plant-burning fuel. Now he claims to have done it with his all-in-all. -all. Charming as he seems, Miles is a villain. He is ruthless, greedy, deceptive, and very manipulative. All in all is safe. Alternative fuel is safe. There is no way my fuel caused these cars to flame out. Miles is also clearly a smart thinker, as he had thought the entire plan to get rid of all in all through, as he set everything up to make him look like an innocent car. During his interview on the Mel Dorado TV show, Axelrod eagerly says that oil costs a big fortune, hinting his greed, and saying how alternative energy is the way for the future, and no one would have to use gasoline by the end of the World Grand Prix, hinting he's not really supporting the usage of alternative fuel, and that his invention of all in all is actually engineered gasoline. While speaking to Mater at the party in Japan, Axelrod's eyes widen at the sound of oil leaking when he quickly says that Mater had leaked oil. This implied that Axelrod realized he had leaked oil and blamed it on Mater in order to hide the fact he's not truly an electric car. This comes back to light when Mater realizes that Axelrod had leaked oil while realizing that Axelrod is the Lemon's mysterious mastermind. Me? You got to be crazy. After the first race in Japan, Axelrod defends that All in All is safe and did not cause the race car's engines to explode. Though All in All did cause the engines of the race cars to explode due to being engineered by Axelrod to blow up when coming in direct contact with the electromagnetic pulse emitter. Before the race in Italy, Axelrod tells the press that he went to court and had his scientists confirm that All in All is safe. Sir Miles Axelrod spoke to the press earlier today to answer questions about its safety. An independent panel of scientists has determined that All in All is completely safe, okay? Safe. This is said to be a lie, as Axelrod would not be willing to go to court to justify his fuel and that he only told the press his fuel is safe so that his minions can inflict more harm to race cars during the race. Before he discredits the use of all in all, Axelrod says he cannot risk the lives of the race cars without sounding completely concerned. This foreshadows Axelrod does not truly care about what happens to the race cars if they use his fuel, and was even willing to murder Lightning McQueen for when he decides to use all in all just to prove the safety of alternative fuel. It also foreshadows that Axelrod does not truly care about the lives of anyone but his own, as he was forced to deactivate his own bomb just to save himself. When speaking to McQueen before the race in London, 
He tells him he has hopes of him winning and expectations of him proving that all in all is safe. I just wanted to come down here and to personally thank you because after Italy, I was finished. And then you gave me one last shot. Listen, I... And I probably shouldn't be saying this at all, but I hope you win today. This implies that Axelrod wants McQueen to participate in the race just so he can be killed and prevent him from backing out in order to find Mater, whom Axelrod's minions had managed to capture. Axelrod never revealed his true nature because Mater revealed it for him. He was also willing to kill Mater gruesomely by installing a bomb in his air filter. This makes him one of the darkest Pixar villains. Miles' design resembles a Land Rover Discovery Series 1. His engine is an old aluminum V8 with a Lucius electrical system and Whitworth bolts. Miles uses a lot of parts made by British Wheeland to keep himself going. British Wheeland is a parody of the vehicle manufacturer British Leyland, which produced both the Range Rover and the notoriously unstable V8 engine that powered them. Even the logo was a parody of British Leylands, using a big bold printed W instead of the big bold L. His license plate is ALTNRG, an abbreviation of Alternative Energy. However, before his electric conversion, which was ultimately a lie, he does not appear to have a license plate at all. Did you know that the jungle Miles Axelrod gets lost in before he converts to an electric vehicle is the jungle from up? Thanks for watching.